actually outbox the boxer. Jake Paul outboxed Mike Tyson like he said he was going to do. Did you not? Like every Thanks. single round. No, and, and <laughs> yeah, that, like what do people say? Like I told everyone what I was going to do is to give him. It was one of the most highly anticipated celebrity boxing events in recent memory but no one could have predicted the story that would unfold in the ring that night. Mike Tyson, a legend in boxing, battling Jake Paul, a rising star with much to prove. But behind the gloves, there was a hidden story that no one saw coming. Tyson wasn't just fighting for pride, he was fighting for survival. Mike Tyson, this is one of those situations where you lose but still win. I'm grateful for last night. No regrets. I got into the ring one last time. I almost died in June. I had eight blood transfusions. I lost half my blood and 25 lods in the hospital. I fought my way back to health to fight. And so to me, I won. Mike Tyson's words echo with the humility that cuts through the hype. This wasn't just a fight. This was his last battle, a battle that nearly cost him his life. Mike Tyson, I had to fight to get healthy to fight. No matter what the outcome was, the fact that I was able to stand toe to toe, go eight rounds with a talented fighter half my age in front of a packed Dallas Cowboys stadium was an experience that no man has the right to ask for. The magnitude of Tyson's statement is clear. He wasn't just boxing to win, he was boxing to prove something deeper. Despite the health struggles, the age, the risks, Tyson wasn't stepping into the ring to lose. He was stepping in to survive, to thrive, and to leave a legacy, one that can't be diminished by one fight. It was hurting Mike repeatedly and he just got to a point where he thought, you know what, I've cooked him, I've slow cooked him here and it, it, the distance was in sight and I think he just thought, I thought, you know what, I'm going to let him see the end of this. I'm not really going to give him credit for that because, you know, you've just beaten up a fucking 58 year old. What am I going to do? Give you credit because you didn't do it that badly. Like, it's not really that honourable, but... I was pleased that Mike Tyson seen the fucking final bell because just for his own manly pride, you know what I mean? To just say, yeah, I fucking stayed in there with him. I didn't go down. In the world of boxing, fighters are often defined by their victories, their skill, their strength. But for Mike Tyson, this fight was about more than just winning or losing. It was about a man's resolve to continue fighting even when his own body betrays him. Tyson's body had been through hell. In June, he nearly died, hospitalized and losing weight rapidly. Yet, he made a choice to come back. It was a decision that raised questions, especially when considering the opponent. Jake Paul, a man nearly half Tyson's age, hungry for a victory to solidify his standing in the boxing world. How is your health? You obviously had the health scare. I'm just fine, brother. I'm just the fight itself was a spectacle, with Jake Paul clearly dominating in terms of technique and stamina. But there was more to the story than what happened inside the ropes. Tyson, despite his physical limitations, showed the kind of heart that defines the greatest fighters in history. Behind the scenes, Tyson had been struggling with a medical condition so severe it almost took his life. He lost 25 hours in the weeks leading up to the fight, a sign of the physical toll his body was under. Tyson had faced serious health challenges, from losing a large portion of his blood to fighting through physical ailments that would have kept most fighters out of the ring altogether. You know, I was just like, okay, he's not really engaging back. And so it, I don't know if he's tired or whatever. And I could just tell, you know, his age was showing a little bit and I just have so much respect for him. And that like violence war thing between us like after he slapped me i wanted to you know be aggressive and take him down and knock him out and all that stuff but that kind of went away as the mike tyson the weight loss wasn't about cutting weight for performance it was something a lot more sinister i fought to get back in shape for this fight i didn't want to quit this was my last shot and i wasn't going to let anything stop me Tyson's willingness to keep fighting, despite the clear risks to his health, highlights his unyielding nature, a true testament to the fighter's mentality. But the question remained, should he have fought at all? 
<laughs> Many fans questioned the wisdom of Tyson stepping into the ring at 58 years old. Should he have fought given the state of his health? And was Jake Paul fully aware of what Tyson had been going through? Some argued that it was dangerous for Tyson to compete, while others believed that the fight was more of a business deal than a sporting contest. I want to know how much Mike Tyson got paid for that fight. Because he gave his legacy away for Jake Paul to make a name for himself. Jake Paul wins against another old man. The most rigged thing I've seen in a long time. Bro, Mike Tyson got paid millions of pounds just to walk in every round. Land no punches, throw no punches, nothing. Just walk around. Oh my. It wasn't fair to Tyson. He wasn't in fighting shape, he had a bad knee, and he nearly died earlier this year. How could they let him fight? Tyson's decision to fight, despite his condition, speaks to his pride. He wasn't doing it for the win, he was doing it for his legacy. Tyson's decision to go forward with the fight was one that defied conventional logic. His health was deteriorating, and many wondered if his team had failed to protect him. But Tyson never looked at it that way. He had faced countless battles before, inside and outside the ring, and this one was no different. As the rounds progressed, Tyson's age showed. His movements weren't as sharp as they once were, and his punches lacked the ferocity that had once made him the most feared fighter in the world. Jake Paul, on the other hand, was full of energy, landing punch after punch, controlling the pace of the fight. Tyson had a knee injury going into the fight, one that he downplayed in his post-fight interview. But this injury had a profound impact on his performance. Tyson's style had always relied on movement, quick pivots, and relentless pressure. Without that mobility, his offense suffered. Tarja made us feel like maybe we'll get Mike Tyson just, you know, do something against j Paul. But 58 is 58. The guy's almost 60 fighting a 27 year old like literally in a ring where we all knew what was going to happen jake was going to run around give him a couple jabs and win comfortably fair play to jake some are saying he could have knocked out tyson but he took it easy just out of respect but it don't matter you shouldn't have been in the ring with him in the first place then because what you're doing you're showing that you're scamming everyone mike tyson <laughs> yeah my knee was really bad it's been hurting for weeks, but I didn't want to let that stop me. I had to work with what I had. I couldn't move like I used to, but I kept coming. It was all about heart. Despite the obstacles, Tyson fought on, absorbing the hits, taking the punishment, but never giving up. His pride, his heart, his resilience were on full display. Jake Paul walked away with a win, but many fans and analysts were quick to criticize the manner in which he achieved it. Some said he didn't earn it, that it was a hollow victory against an aging and compromised legend. Jake Paul, it was an honor to step in the ring with a legend like Mike Tyson. I respect him. That was a tough fight, and I'm proud to come out on top. Jake's words seemed respectful, but for many, the victory felt tainted. Tyson was no longer the indomitable force he once was. But does that take away from Jake's achievement? Is it fair to criticize him for fighting a legend in decline? He shouldn't have fought Tyson. He knew Tyson wasn't at his best. It was an easy win for him, and he knows it. The writing was on the wall for me when I saw Mike Tyson walking towards the ring down the walkway, and it looked like his knee buckled. I was worried for him from then. But Jake Paul really didn't do anything to worry me. Like, considering this is a Jake Paul that tries to claim he will one day be world champion and that he would have beaten Mike Tyson in his prime, you are way off it, mate. You are way off it. But the majority of the time, Jake Paul's been fighting UFC fighters and YouTubers. And I think he's probably faced about three professional boxers in his whole entire career. And they are either below average or... It's Jake's choice. He fought who they put in front of him, Tyson was a legend, and Jake won. Simple as that. For many, Tyson's performance that night didn't diminish his legacy. It added to it. He showed the world that even when your body fails you, your spirit can carry you forward. Tyson, at 58 years old, battling a serious health crisis 
and an injury proved once again that true greatness is about more than victories. It's about the heart to keep going, no matter the odds. Tyson's career was filled with highs and lows, from his meteoric rise to the top of boxing, to his battles outside the ring, Tyson has always been a fighter. A fighter not just in the ring, but in life. Mike Tyson, this is it for me. No more fights. It's time to enjoy life. Thank you for the memories. And with that, Tyson's chapter in boxing came to a close. He retired, not because he didn't have more to give, but because he had nothing left to prove. Tyson's influence in the world of boxing is undeniable. Whether you admire him or criticize him, one thing is certain, his legacy is secure. The fight with Jake Paul wasn't about winning or losing. It was about proving that the heart of a champion never fades. Tyson's decision to retire leaves us with a sense of finality, but also a sense of relief. A man who fought for so long now has the chance to focus on his health and his life outside of the ring. Mike Tyson got in there and he looked every day of 58 years old. He looked like an old man that couldn't do anything. What happened to the Mike Tyson that was throwing all the punches on the pads and the, on the body bag and the bag work that he was doing and the clips on the build up? Like, you just feel like he couldn't get anything going. Did he, did he hold back himself? Did Mike Tyson not really try? Did he get in there? and follow a script, well don't, don't actually hit Jake Paul on the chin with a big shot because you might just knock him out and ruin the whole fucking script and ruin the whole Jake Paul story, the big Mike Tyson, it's time to live. I've done enough, now I'm just grateful for everything that's come my way. Tyson may have stepped away from the ring, but his influence will remain forever. Whether it's through his podcast, his mentorship, or his business ventures, Tyson's legacy will continue to shape the world of boxing and beyond. Final montage of Tyson's career highlights, walking away from the ring, smiling and surrounded by his family. The journey may have ended in the ring, but Mike Tyson's story is far from over. The legend continues, and his impact will be felt for generations to come. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Mike Tyson's final fight and the aftermath, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for the latest updates on Tyson's life beyond boxing and his ongoing journey as a legend in his own right.